Hi guys, I uh, hope you're all well. Um, so yeah, apologies to start off with. I know this is uh, the first video for a while, so apologies. Um, I don't know if you watch them all, but as I mentioned in the last video, little baby, first birthday, um, and that kind of takes priority. Um, so yeah, it's just a quick video. We are finally getting the car over to sandblasting, um, which is brilliant, obviously well excited. Uh, and it's more of a video just to show you the, the process of getting it over there and then uh, hopefully bringing it back. I might do it over one a whole one, one whole video or you know, do one video taking it there, one video bringing it back. Uh, I'm not too sure yet, it depends on how much material we can create and things like that. Um, but yeah, me and Tech are gonna start loading it now. Um, we're actually gonna winch it out. Uh, of the barn because obviously I, I stripped the axles to, to build them so it's not a rolling show at the minute um so yeah there might be a bit of heavy lifting and typical tank rolling and things um but yeah we'll see how we get on i'll see you in a bit i understood loneliness before i knew what it was i saw the pills on your table for your unrequited love I would be nothing without you holding me up. Now I'm strong enough for both of us. Both of us, both of us, both of us. I am the giant. Stand up on my shoulders. Tell me what you see. Cause I am the giant. We'll be breaking borders underneath our feet.
went a lot better. Fucking give me a round of applause. That went a lot better than you thought it would, though, didn't it? <laughs> Okay, so after Tank had finished being Tank uh, and getting it, getting the chassis onto the trailer in Tank's typical fashion, um, we're now going to hitch up the trailer and get it over to Sandblasting over at Cornwall Blasting Services. Um, and then, yep, when that's all done, we'll film that coming over. And then when we get back, we're going to try and rearrange the workshop a little bit. I think Tank's going to tidy the workshop a little bit. Um, and I'm also going to crack on with a couple more bits on the rear axle sort that of need doing. Uh, again, a bit of sandblasting, a bit of priming, a bit of painting and things like that. Um, I need, I know, for example, I need to attack the uh, the leaf springs uh, and the axle on the diff and things like that. But obviously, I'm not going to get that in our blasting cabinet. Um, so that will be a wire wall job. Um, but yeah, see you in a bit. So it's over at Sandblasting, finally. Um, so yeah, thank you to Tank for obviously helping me get it loaded, get it over there. Um, and a massive thank you to Dave and the guys uh, over at Cornwall Sandblasting. Um, so hopefully we'll pick that up at the end of next week, or the beginning of next week, fingers crossed. So yeah, there will obviously be another video when we pick it up and things. Um, but yeah, now we're just gonna crack on. Uh, I'm gonna get the leaf springs all wobbled down. Um, and hopefully in primer if I can, and uh, maybe even look to drain the the diff oil. So uh, see you in a bit. I believe in the meaning of spoken word. The feeling of freedom and healing the bleeding In need of a reason I wrote this verse Yo, I hope this works Being strong feels exactly the same as being weak The difference is you don't quit Not until you reach the peak I believe in the meaning of spoken word It's more than a speech to speak It's what I feel when I'm sitting in your presence The answers are written in your essence It's all a test to see if you're made for it but best believe it's your claim on it Cause you got a destiny with your name on it
You're gonna go through things you don't deserve And it's gonna hurt like an open nerve So just know your soul's as old as earth And whatever you do, don't be told it's worth Being strong feels exactly the same as being weak The difference is you don't quit Not until you reach the peak I believe in the meaning of spoken word It's more than a speech to speak It's what I feel when I'm sitting in your presence The answers are written in your essence It's all a test to see if you're made for it So go for it, you can't wait for it Cause you got a destiny with your name on it Okay guys, that's pretty much us done for today. Um, yeah, we luckily we were able to sort out the, strip out the rear axle, sort out the leaf springs, uh, and clean up the workshop a bit. Or try to. Right. Never mind, we're still going. But that's it, Tank's been able to sort out all the racking system for us, which is ideal, so obviously, there's many different projects going on in here. So we've got MG area, we've got tractor area, we've got another tractor area. And, Edgy gearboxes and so on and so forth. But yeah, engine, we'll deal with that at a later date. But like I say, we're gonna have to strip down the rear axle. So currently just got the diff oil disappearing in to the bucket there to empty that out and then we'll be able to strip it down and uh, wild wool it again. Um, we do have a little bit of an outtake if I haven't shown it already before. I did have a little bit of an accident with the wire wall uh, machine. So, yeah, safety equipment, guys. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. And then the next video will probably be when the MGB turns up after sandblasting. Uh, I'll probably do it with Tank so we can assess it and Tank can tell me how bad it is. And, uh, yeah, please sweep it up. <laughs> yeah, probably will need to sweep it up. Uh, on the basis that Tank will then give us his diagnosis. Because at the end of the day, I can't weld. So that'd be Tank. I'm looking at you, Tank. Again? Again. Okay, but yeah, no, thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.